Being a good surgeon, the patient is always our priority. The patient wants to know, can I do at home the same way I did it before? patient wants to know whatever disease, whatever sickness um, he has, the patient wants to know if he can do the things he did before he got sick, after you treated him, whatever you did, whether you do surgery, whether you put him on, on, on drugs and uh, or oncological medication or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. He only wants to know, can I do at home, mm -hmm. going gardening, mm -hmm. running, mm -hmm walking around, um, et cetera, et cetera. Can I do it after all the treatment the same way I did it before? So and most of the time mm. it's possible, but you have to convince him that this is possible and then he is okay. Then he says, fine, yes, I think about it, but I'm pretty sure I will do it. I will go for it. That's what I've said, you know, they really do not want to know about the, how we actually do the surgery, what the actual, you know, disease this or that. No, what they want to know so, okay, that will it cure me, number one. Yeah. Number two, uh, for, for example, penile implants, will they know that I got the surgery, the others? Number three, is it as good as, I, as it was? Mm -hmm. And usually how much? <laughs> that was the things patient wanted to know, not uh, a subcoronal approach, infrapubic approach, scope. they don't care. I mean, that is your job. But uh, what I want to know is my job is how my life will change. Yeah, that's what they wanted exactly. That is that is true, but still, if you show them or if you have the transparency that you can show some of the video clips, how the surgery is done, then actually they say, okay, I can see it. He is so good that he is able to show how he does it, and that convinces people as well. Even so, they don't understand what they see. Your website today, the reason why I like it mm -hmm. is it's a perfect example how we should regard our patients. It's a perfect example that you, you respected them. That's the reason why you created all these videos to help them understand, not to instruct them what to do, but to let them understand, let them make a decision, let them take it easily so that they can be a healthy man again. So it's not something easy to do. Oh, I tell you, it's a hell of a it's lot a of, work. of work. I know. <laughs> so. From the deep, deep, deep down, this comes from the, its root is coming from your respect to the patient. That's how I, how I felt it. That's why I was so happy and got a sign from you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. But you see, the, the project is, um, or the idea of the project is patient empowerment. It's exactly what you were saying. Mm -hmm. So the patient is able to understand what is going wrong yeah. and how can it be handled. Mm -hmm. What is my prognosis? Mm -hmm. More and more people are interested, particularly if it's cancer, how good is my prognosis? Mm -hmm. Or for example, if it's a redo penile implant, mm -hmm. how good is the prognosis that it will not get infected as the first one, for example? And these are important things. And somebody who actually knows what he is talking about, they can feel it and see it right away. Mm -hmm. And then he say, okay, you are the one who should do it and not the guy who actually recommended that I should go to him.